So in this lecture, I want to talk about images because to create a really great looking site, you do need to put up some great images, you know, take some time to really think about what those images are going to be on your site. A site that looks a bit rubbish is going to drive away traffic very, very quickly and all of your hard work will be wasted. A site that looks great is clearly going to draw them in. Now, I know that's really obvious, but it's surprising how often that gets overlooked. So what I want to do here is just show you some sites where you can get images that you have to pay for but also as you'll be pleased to know plenty where they are for free so let's start with the paying sites now the big ones I guess are this one here that I'm on at the moment which is called iStock photo so let's just imagine that we were in the dog sector for example and I just typed in dog here it presents me with some beautiful images related to dogs and there will be thousands and thousands of these if I were to continue to scroll down the page you'd see what I mean but basically this is a great site for getting some really really nice images now you're probably looking at something like five to ten dollars per image now you might think that's a lot but in fact you're probably only going to use a handful of images on your site at any one time so you may be looking at maybe investing if you were to go down this route let's say $20 in order to have four really great images on your site. And you might consider that to be a really good investment. Now, as well as iStock Photo, we have Shutterstock, which is a very similar concept. So let's just type dog in here, for example. And again, an endless selection, yeah? 1.8 million dog stock photos, uh, 18,000 pages. So clearly we want to start refining that. But those two sites really have a limitless number of images that you can pay for. So let's imagine that you don't want to pay for images. So let's have a look and see what we can do there. Well, the first place we can go to is Google. Now on Google, I can type in dog and I can go to images. And here I have a load of images, but you need to be careful because very often these images are copyrighted. So if you were to take them and use them on your site, you may well have a problem later down the road. You know, probably the worst thing would be you would be asked to take them off your site. But if you built a brand around a particular image and then later on they ask you to remove it, that would be really, really annoying. So why not just avoid that whole thing in the long run? But it's not all lost for Google because up here I have an additional filter called usage rights. And if I click on that, I get various options. I've got labeled for reuse with modification, labeled for reuse, labeled for non-commercial reuse, and then again, another non-commercial. Now we are commercial, right? We're building out a business. So if you wanted to be really on the safe side, you would select labeled for reuse. In other words, you can reuse any of these images. And quite frankly, you are gonna find many, many great images here for your use. Now the disadvantage, having said all that with Google, is that you often struggle to find the image, the size and quality that you want. You know, that's the big advantage with those paying sites that I just showed you. In fact, with the paying sites, you'll get images in various different formats. But here, that's not the case. You know, it's pulling images off the internet. So what you see is what you get, which can be frustrating. But that said, with a little bit of research and a little bit of looking around, you can often find a really good image to use for your site. Now, if you don't want to use those paying sites and you don't want to use Google, then I'm not quite done yet because in the next lecture, I'm giving you a list, which I hope is a pretty exhaustive list, in fact, of websites that have royalty-free images. In other words, you can go to those sites, you can search for your images, and you can be 100% certain that you can use those without a problem in the future. So I really hope from what I've just shown you here and also in the next lecture, that you're gonna be able to find some really, really cool images for your business.